My name is Steven Burks. Uh, I have a studio in New York called Ready Made Projects. Minnie invited me to talk to a group of young designers about this idea of the designer's identity. I really impressed upon the students that it was important to understand their own identity before choosing manufacturers to work with, before running off and making something, to really understand why they're making and who they're making it for and how they can get better in touch with their own voice, how they can reach that point of realization quicker. And I think now the next step for them is to go off and develop a concept for many around their own identity. So I think they have a better sense of what that identity can be. So we're in our Design and Mini World Tour studio here in Milan and I'm sitting with Henrietta Thompson who's a design writer and curator. What have you seen? What's caught your eye? What are, what's new this year? What's interesting? There's certainly a shift happening in, in the way that teams that are designers are taking much more control of exhibiting their own work and also selling their own work as well. So we've actually got a new kind of dynamic opening up and a lot of the galleries and the shows you're going to are actually retail environments as well. It used to be a criticism of Milan that a lot of the things that were on display, not only could you not buy them now, but there's a strong chance you would never be able to buy them because they were prototypes and they were just putting them there to gauge the reaction of the press and, and the buyers. Uh, are you saying that that's changed now, that, that there's a sort of a, a more of a transaction involved? At well, so, yes, I think so. And also um, because the whole manufacturing model has changed and so it's much easier for, um, for designers to produce their own works and you've got a lot more designer makers. So they're, they're making things in limited editions which they're able to then sell. So magazines are getting into retail and um, exhibitions are getting into retail. It doesn't have to necessarily be as cut and dried as, you know, I'm a producer, I'm a designer, I'm a retailer, I'm a magazine. Now everybody's all doing all those things together. Europe's having a tough time, the East is rising. I mean, it must be a difficult time to be a designer or a producer. I think so, but also a really exciting one because, um, because of all these new technologies coming in as well, which enable the whole way things are being made to change dramatically. Things can be made much cheaper. Uh, and you've got 3D printing, which is completely changing the landscape as well. You can sell things online um, and actually distribute fairly easily now. Thanks very much, Henrietta, for coming in. Thank you.